Hello, my name is Katherine Miller, and I'm here today to talk with you about adolescent sleep needs and early school start times. I want you to imagine it's first period algebra class, 7.20 a.m. Most of the ninth grade students stare glassy-eyed at their teacher, two lay their heads on the desk, another walks into class late, and yet another doesn't even show up till later in the day. This scenario is all too common in junior high and high schools across the United States. In most cases, it is less the result of disinterested students or a boring teacher than the symptoms of sleep deprivation. Research has shown that by moving the school start time for teens to later in the morning yields a positive effect on academic performance and a decrease in depression among students. Today I will focus on the physiological changes that occur during puberty that affect their sleep weight patterns and also on research that supports the need for secondary schools to start school later than 8.30 a.m. During the adolescent years, many changes occur within the circadian rhythm. That's the 24-hour biological cycle that controls our sleep weight patterns. These changes shift teen sleep onset time to later at night. Contrary to the belief of many parents and school officials, teenagers still need on average nine hours of sleep each night, just like they did as children. According to a longitudinal study conducted by Dr. Mary Karskadon, professor of psychiatry and human behavior at Brown University, showed that sleep needs do not change during adolescence. Total sleep time throughout the teen years, when given the opportunity to sleep nine hours, remained at a consistent level. In pre-adolescence, melatonin, which is the hormone that induces sleep, is released in the early evening, hence an early bedtime between 8 and 9 p.m. Let's refer to my visual aid. As children began their journey into adolescence, the time of release of melatonin is pushed further into the evening between 11 and 12 p.m., thus pushing teenage bedtime to later at night. But because nine hours of sleep are still needed, teens wake up later than children, usually between 8 and 9 a.m. From this line graph, you can see the difference of sleep onset and wait time between children and adolescents. Unfortunately, during the school year, teens are sleeping between six and a half to seven hours due to the early school start time. The physiological changes of sleep during puberty and early school start times result in sleep deprivation. Students who are sleep deprived have a decrease in academic performance and report an increase of depression. Improved understanding of adolescent sleep patterns has led some high schools to delay start times to better match student sleep needs. One study conducted by Drs. Wolstrom, Robel, and Kubau in 1998 involved 17 school districts in the Minneapolis, Minnesota area. They looked at the effect of later school start time on a wide set of variables, including student academic performance and student emotional behavior. Findings from the study showed that schools with later start times benefited in the following ways. Students reported being more alert in class. Teachers reported students getting higher grades. And students reported fewer depressive symptoms. Other studies done in Massachusetts and in Minnesota have revealed the same findings. Students who started school earlier than 8.30 a.m reported inadequate sleep and struggled to stay awake in school, more often than students who started later. Students who started school later reported sleeping an hour longer on school nights than those with early start times. This extra hour was due to the later rise times in the morning. There was no difference in their bedtimes. Research does show that by moving the school start time for teens to later in the morning, yields a positive effect on academic performance and a decrease in depression. Having school start just one hour later can make a huge difference in teens' life because that can mean an hour of additional sleep with all the benefits that sleep provides. School administrators can help address the effects of sleep deprivation by examining a change in school start times 
to better conform to their students' sleep patterns and needs. Are there any more, are there any questions? Yes, why did you choose this particular topic? I chose this topic because of my own experience with my teenage daughter. When she transitioned from elementary to junior high school, the start times changed from 8.50 to 7.20 a.m. Along with this change came an increase in school work and after school activities. With all these changes combined, I saw my daughter's mood become more agitated. Her grades began to drop and she was showing marked signs of sleep deprivation. I strongly feel that more attention needs to be addressed to the physiological changes that occur during puberty when school administration is looking at implementing different school schedules. Are there any more questions? How come the federal government hasn't implemented a law requiring school districts across the nation to start school for adolescents no earlier than 8.30? Good question. On April 2, 1999, Representative Zoe Lofgren, a Democrat from California, introduced a congressional resolution to encourage schools and school districts to reconsider early morning start times to be more in sync with teens' biological clock. House Congressional Resolution 135, or the Z's to A's Act, would encourage individual schools and school districts all over the country to move school start times to no earlier than 8.30 a.m. Do I have any more questions? Good. Thank you so much for joining me today on my presentation.